Okay, so this is Nora. Beautiful white shepherd girl. Around about two years old. She got here last Saturday from a high kill shelter in Texas. She, um, I think the, I'm guessing it's not pollen, but environment, she's been making her sniffle a little bit just since we've been walking. So she pulls a little bit. I was hoping she wouldn't because I wanted to really just chilled out a little walk tonight to try and de-stress me. I just didn't want anybody pulling. <laughs> and because she's not really happy in the kennel, she's pretty, um, a little bit overwhelming. I mean, she's fine, but she's not, she's not soaking it up like the others. So I figured I'd get her out for a walk. Probably do me some good too. And I'm out of breath. We've just done Mount Everest. There. Hey. Hey. There's a beautiful lady. Hey. You beautiful? So, Nora, like I say, she's around about two. Obviously, give or take, she's a stray. Very sweet. She's had a couple of the big dogs climbing over into her kennel. And she's been fine. No dog aggression, nothing. If anything, a bit of what the heck. <laughs> As you can see, she's a typical shepherd, very alert. Let's see what's going on, checking out everywhere. When we first come out, we've only been gone like five, ten minutes. Well, let me say two minutes because we've only walked a little while. <laughs> um... She was always checking back, which is always a good sign. Checking back to make sure that you, you're there. Oi! We've had a few cars and trucks speeding past, haven't we? But I always go right in the ditch when we get vehicles coming because I don't know how they're going to react and, you know, it's just best to put them completely off the road out of the way. Right, we need to stop you pulling now. Come here. Do we need to stop you pulling? Nora? Oof, bless you. Well, you're getting all tangled up, aren't you? You're getting all tangled up? You're tangling me up now. Hey, you're tangling me up now. That doesn't work. Hey. So this is obviously the first time she's been out of the kennels since she got here, which is good. It only takes me months to be able to get them out for a walk. But like I said, I just needed to get out. I'd rather be sat in a bar, on a lake maybe, having a nice cold Bacardi and Coke with a slice of lime. Maybe some handsome, handsome man who's madly in love with me. That'd be nice. However, here I am, <laughs> walking a dog down Downs Road. So, Right, I don't want you pulling. Nora. What kind of name is Nora? What kind of name is Nora for a dog? Um, so this is roughly, it's just below two miles. It's just below a mile to the end of the road from my house. And then obviously a mile back. But we obviously have like Mount Everest to climb on the way back. So if you're interested in adopting Nora or seeing more pictures or the videos, I do the videos because you can tell a lot more by a video than you can a picture. Um, she's available for adoption at Give a Dog a Home Rescue. We are located in Sebec, Maine. The website is www.giveadogahome-rescue.org and we do have an application process. So go to the menu, find dog application, fill out the application. It's long, but it's long for a reason because it weasels people out. And I'm more interested in your lifestyle to make sure that you've got the lifestyle. And don't get angry. I don't know who you are. So, you know, don't get angry because I'm asking questions about how active are you or little basic, simple things like that. And then once you're approved, we have a vet check and we have two reference checks. Once you're approved, which generally takes me a day, two days, 
if your references are responsive. And then, um, then you schedule an appointment to come and meet. We do that at the top of the drive, away from the kennels, for obvious reasons, I think. And then you do your meet and greet. You can spend time with her, him, her, whoever it might be. You can take him for a walk. You can just chill out. Most people just want to get home because obviously they want to get the dog settled in and meet the family and whatever. But you stay as long as you like till you're comfortable. And once you're happy and the dog's happy, which they pretty much generally are, you uh, oh, look at a big bird. Can't see it. Um, beautiful. Then you load up in the car and off you drive. Off into whatever the weather may be. Oi, right. Oi, Nora. Thank you. And I don't do leash training for anybody going on at me. It's the first time they've been out. They're taking in the environment. They're getting the smells and figuring out where they are and everything. I don't bother with all that. It's just to get them out of the kennels and to get a video so people can see them on a leash. So, anyway, this video is going to run because it only normally gives me just six minutes or so um, on my phone. So, Nora, give a dog a home rescue in Sebec, Maine. You are required to come to